the global economy has been more challenged than the U.S. economy has been. It, it's been soft. I mean, there's some signs it's bottoming and starting to turn up a little bit. But Europe, in particular, has been struggling with weak growth. And they are either in or heading into a recession, most likely. And China, another very large economy, has been underperforming with slowing growth and really a very, very weak real estate market and high debt levels. And the U.S. economy has been outperforming pretty significantly globally recently. Um, but a slower China and European region matter because they're the second and third largest economy, which is which depends on how you measure it. Um, but it's really important for trade, and it's really important for U.S. multinationals. So if you look at Apple, for example, um, they've had problems in China, which is a huge market for them and, and slowing down for them. Um, you know, geopolitically, there's a lot going on yeah. right now, and, and the world is really pretty unsettled right now. So you have a war in the Middle East, you have a war in Europe with Ukraine, you have conflict in the Red Sea with groups targeting shipping on a really critical route from Europe to Asia. Um, and you have Iran and North Korea, both are potential flashpoints that could draw the U.S. into a conflict. Mm -hmm. And then China appears determined to reunite with Taiwan um, peaceably or, or otherwise. So what does this all mean? Um, probably not a lot, actually, because mm -hmm. you look historically, and we've talked about we this before, about yeah. um, is that geopolitical conflicts don't tend to impact markets over time. You can get a spike in oil temporarily. You saw that with Ukraine. You saw that with Gaza. Um, but it's rare for them to impact them over time where it can is if supply chains are disrupted, particularly for a certain good. Um, and that happened for the U.S. in the 70s when there was an oil embargo and inflation shot up. Um, but right, you know, that hasn't happened. It's rare for that to happen.